Okay, so here we have a very nice example of the Jackson uh, dynamic tube tester. This is the model 646S, as it shows right there. And this is a real, really clean uh, example. It's been sitting a while. It could probably use a going over as far as uh, all the contacts from underneath being cleaned, as it's been sitting a long time. But it does work. I'll go ahead and turn on the power here for it and uh, show you how this thing works. Uh, still has the uh, tag here about the line voltage. <laughs> anyway, this is your line control. As you can see, as you uh, uh, turn it up, it, it, it's, you want to get it set right on the line there. There we go. And then you can just adjust it on down or up as you need to. Um, here's your on and off switch, obviously, life test, uh, leakage. You, you want to have it in the test position as it is. And here's your uh, uh, setup for the tube chart, which is up here. Really nice uh, tube chart here. Uh, I wanted to see that it works really nicely. And um, there we go. I have a 12AX7 uh, presently in there right now. And so I've got it all ready to test. And so uh, on this particular one, uh, the upper row here is A123, the bottom row is A45 for the test. And uh, as it shows up here, you need to uh, have the uh, plate set at 35, which we do. Of course, the, uh, the filament at 12.6. And then it's, uh, you want to press the WX buttons right here, uh, W and X. So I'll go ahead and press those. And as you can see, this is a good tube. There you go. Once again, yep, good tube. So uh, that's the 12AX7, and uh, we'll test a couple other tubes uh, to see how it does. But uh, again, that has this as has the uh, special uh, tube data here, a uh, bunch of information there, more information on the back here. It's got the lid, as you can see, and very nice physical condition. The Jackson Model 648S Dynamic Tube Tester.